Revelation 15 through uh, 21. 21? Is that this? 22. <laughs> it's already 22 chapters in Revelation. Um, this is obviously the conclusion of the scriptures. This section starts with the final judgments. And um, it even says in uh, chapter 15, verse, here, I'll turn it around so you can see it. Um, verse 1 of chapter 15, that um, these are the last, because in them the wrath of God is finished. The next uh, four chapters just goes through and talks about the final bulls of punishment that are going to be revealed um, and, and uh, justice uh, right, rightfully and righteously served. And, and um, you know, it is, um, it's a terrifying thing for those that are facing that judgment. But then in chapter 19 is when it all turns around and um, all of the evils have been um, been made right through God's vengeance, his just vengeance. And in chapter 19, 20, 21, and 22, we see the establishment of the new heavens and the new earth. And it, and parts of it just describe how beautiful it is and, um, and how majestic it is. And um, the thing that I guess I was, I'm struck with is that the, the book ends with, saying, hey, this is the end of the revelation. If anyone adds to it or takes away from it, he's, he's accursed. So if anybody tells you, hey, I got this new revelation and or whatever, um, they are lying. That's of Satan. That's what the, the revelation of God to man is completed at the end of the book of Revelation. And that idea of completed is is what struck me um you know i just pointed out it verse or chapter 15 verse 1 he says this is the end of the wrath of god chapters 19 is the beginning of the eternal joy and bliss and majesty of god and the joy that we will experience as his servants as his slaves as the scripture point out, um, forever, for eternity. He says that it is done. And Jesus made um, a similar statement with his death on the cross. He said, it is finished, to telestai. And that, that Greek word means, it's kind of like um, a, a debt being paid off an account being reconciled. Um, you know, you got a, a, a bunch of uh, tasks that you need to do on your to-do list. And you check them off, right? And then when you're done, it's finished. You finish that task. You paid off that debt, whatever it is. That's what Jesus did on the cross. In Revelation, uh, I believe it's 20 or 21, when he says it is done, that means it's completed. Um, this past weekend, um, our son Micah came and built a desk for um, for his mom. And it, she started it, you know, and it had all these parts and all the instructions and all of that. And it was uh, <laughs> a bit overwhelming, you know, with all of the different little pieces. And you got to put them in the right sequence and all of that and ever, in order for everything to fit together right and for it to be... Um, you know, a usable desk. But when you're done with it and you put all of it together, 
it's perfect and it works just as it should. And um, that's what that word, um, it is done, means in Revelations. Revelation, that, that it has been completed. The task has been completed. Everything is in place and has been assembled. Um, and so the distinction between what Jesus did on the cross with it is finished, I've checked off the boxes that I need to check and pay, to pay off the debt, and it is done, what Jesus says in Revelation, is that there is no more work to be done. There's, there's no more vengeance to be had. It's now just eternal joy and peace and bliss um, for his followers, for his servants. And that, my friends, is how the book ends and our eternity begins.